Come As You Are, created by Lahitana Yoga, for the beginner to intermediate yogi. We will begin in child's pose. Bring your knees onto the mat. Knees can be placed together or as wide as the mat. Melt your hips back upon your heels and rest your forehead, also known as your third eye, down onto the mat. Crawl your fingertips forward towards the top of your space. This is your time to connect your breath and connect to your body. This is your time to get grounded for your practice and most importantly to set your intention for your practice. Take this time to be comfortable exactly as you are. Meet yourself where you are. Come as you are. Spread your fingertips wide. Press your palms into the mat. They should be about shoulder width distance apart. Curl your toes under. Inhale, rock up to a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and stack your hips over your knees. Draw your rib cage in, engage your abdominals. Walk your toes back about three to four inches. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, rock over your knees, downward facing dog. Sky. Breathe here. Feel gravity pulling your heels towards the back of the back of the mat. Your feet should be placed about hip width distance apart or slightly wider. There should be a micro bend to your knees. And lift your hips as high as they can. Spread your fingertips wide. Magnetize your forearms together and engage your shoulder blades on your back. Engage your abdomen and access your breath. Breathe here. We will start with sun salutation A. Inhale, charge your legs, gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, tiptoe to the top of your space, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hinge from your hips, find a flat back. Exhale, let your head hang heavy. Inhale to dasana, root from your feet, hands sweep all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your palms to heart center, remember your intention. Inhale, sweep arms up, find length in your spine, lift in your heart. Exhale, forward fold, cascade your heart over your legs, let your head hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, hinge from your hips, find a flat back and rest your fingertips on your shins. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands on the mat, step your toes back and melt your knees down lower halfway, elbows no lower than 90 degrees. Inhale, Cobra or upward facing dog, lift your heart up, point your elbows back. Exhale, downward facing dog, rock over your knees and use your core to lift your hips up to the sky. Breathe here, take five full breaths. That was your first sun salutation A. How do you feel in your space, the space of your body? How does it feel to take each movement with each breath? Embrace wherever you may be, both physically and mentally. It's perfect. Reactivate your breath. Inhale, come onto your tiptoes. Exhale, step all the way to a forward fold at the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, drain your brain. Inhale, to Tadasana, root from your feet, hands sweep up, find length in your spine. Exhale, forward fold, melt your heart over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, extend out of your hips. Exhale, Chaturanga, plant your hands down, step back, melt your knees down and lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, heart lifts up, elbows point back. Exhale, downward facing dog, rock over your knees and lift your hips up. Once again, breathe here. That was your second sun salutation A. As you can feel, your body starts to warm up, your spine starts to warm up, and you start to connect connect each breath to movement. Reactivate your breath. Inhale, come onto your tiptoes, gaze to the top of your space. Exhale, tiptoe to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, extend out of your hips. Exhale, forward fold, let your head hang heavy. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips low, reach your hands high. Gaze down at your toes, make sure you can see your toes beyond your knees and make sure you're not scooping into your low back. Inhale, lengthen into your spine. 
Exhale, forward fold, cascade your heart over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. Exhale, chaturanga, step your feet back, melt your knees down and lower halfway. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, heart lifts up. Exhale, downward facing dog, rock over your knees and up. Inhale, right leg sweeps up. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, warrior one, extend your arms up to the sky, melt your back heel down. Heel to heel alignment, point your right foot forward and your back foot out about 45, 60 degree, degrees. Squeeze your thighs together to square your hips out to the front of the room. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Exhale, release hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, step back to a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, rock over your knees and lift your hips up. Inhale, sweep your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, warrior one. Extend your arms up to the sky. Point your front foot forward and your back foot out about 45, 60 degrees. Find a heel to heel alignment. Energetically squeeze your thighs together to sprout your hips to the front of the room and stack your shoulders over your hips. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release the hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rock your, over your knees and back up. Breathe here. Take five full breaths in your space. Reconnect with your breath and reconnect with your intention. This is your resting spot. Always option to take child's pose as we were in the beginning of class. Reactivate breath, inhale, come onto your tiptoes, exhale, step or spring to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hinge from your hips, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips low, reach your hands high, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands down, step or spring, legs lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, warrior one, sweep your hands up to the sky. Exhale, release your hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, high plank, step right to meet left. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, heart lifts you up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, warrior one, extend arms up to the sky. Exhale, release hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, step back high plank. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come onto your tiptoes. Exhale, drop your heels back. Breathe here. Reactivate your breath. Inhale, gaze to the top of your space. Exhale, step lightly or spring to the top of your space, forward fold. And then release your hips down onto the mat, set up for a Navasana pose. Place your hands under the meaty aspects of your thighs. And use the resistance of your hands against your thighs to lift your heart up. Keep the integrity of your straight spine, one straight line from the tip of your hips through the crown of your head. Stay here with your core active, or if it feels good in your practice, float your toes up. If that's still not enough, always option to straighten your legs as long as you keep the integrity of a straight spine. Maybe bring your hands to heart center or reach your fingertips forward. Breathe here. Stay connected to your core. Stay connected to your breath. One more inhale here, and on the exhale, release vertebrae by vertebrae all the way back down to the mat. Interlace your fingertips underneath your skull. Yes. 
Stack your knees over your hips. Bring your shins parallel to the earth. Legs find a 90 degree angle. On the inhale, lengthen spine. Peel shoulder blades up. Exhale, draw your right elbow towards left knee. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, switch sides. Continue with your breath all the way up all the way, keeping your core, your abdomen, and your obliques active. If this isn't enough, you can always make this pose more active by alternate, alternatingly straightening your right and your left leg. Make sure that you're drawing your elbow towards your knee and not your knee towards your elbow. You want to maintain your knees stacked over your hips. Take two more full breaths wherever you are. Come back to center. Bring your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a nice big hug. Rock from right to left. Massaging out your kidneys, massaging out the base of your spine. Massaging out your lungs, the base of your lobes. And then find some gentle rocks from the base of your spine to the base of your skull. Beautiful. Take one more gentle rock and then come up to a standing forward fold at the top of your space. Let your head hang heavy like a ripe piece of fruit. Feel the weight of your head open up your vertebrae. And then inhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, peel yourself up to a standing position. Your gaze is the last thing to rise. Bring your hands at your side, palms face out to Dasana pose. Then draw palms to heart center. Samasti Hiti. Set up for tree pose. Balance on your left foot. Draw the right sole of your foot anywhere along the inside aspect of your left leg. This could be on your ankle with your toes supporting on the mat, on your calf, or maybe even all the way up into your thigh. Anywhere along the inside of your left leg except for onto your knee. As you can see, Mia takes the option to extend her arms up to the sky, growing the branches of her tree out. Inhale, one leg to Dasana. Bring your right thigh parallel to the earth. Exhale, warrior three. Extend your right leg straight back. Maybe it becomes parallel to the mat. You are still balancing on your left foot. Mia takes the option to extend her arms forward. Feel active in your core. Point your right tiptoes down. One more inhale. On the exhale, release low lunge. Hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, crescent lunge. Extend arms up to the sky. As you can see, Mia floats her right knee up and Victoria has her right knee melted onto the earth. Left knee stacks over left ankle and shoulder stacks over hips. One more inhale. Keep your left hand where it is. Exhale, release right palm towards the earth. Revolve, high lunge. Left. The intention here is to stack your left shoulder directly over your right, twisting from your belly. As you can see, Mia floats her right knee up while Victoria melts her right knee on the mat for support. Take one more deep inhale here. Exhale, side plank. Extend your left leg straight back towards the back of the mat. Once again, Mia floats her right knee up as Victoria melts her right knee on the mat to support her. Left leg can be floating up or left toes could support you on the mat. Intention is to get left shoulder to stack with right. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release to a high plank. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rock over knees, lift hips up. Inhale, sweep right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step to the top of your space. Inhale, warrior two pose. Pinwheel your arms open so that your arms are parallel to the earth and your shoulders stack directly over your hips. Your heart is open towards the left side of the mat. Your hips are open towards the left side of the mat. 
your front foot should be facing forward and your back foot faces out about 90 degrees. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach left fingertips up towards the sky. Rest your right forearm on your right thigh or reach your right arm down towards the earth. Stay low in your right knee, lift up and out of your right shoulder, engage your core, inhale reverse warrior, reach your right fingertips towards the back of the room, release your left fingertips down your left leg or wrap around your low back as much as you reach up and out with your right side body, push down and forward with your right knee or if that's too much, straighten into your right leg. Two variations here. Take one more full inhale. Exhale, release, hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, step back to a high plank. Knees on the mat are an option. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rock over knees and lift hips up to the sky. Reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with your intention. Feel grounded in your hands and your feet. Inhale, prepare your legs, gaze to the top of your space. Exhale, step or spring lightly to a forward fold. On your inhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, peel up to a standing position. Your gaze is the last thing to rise. Palms face out. And then bring palms to heart center. Set up for tree pose, balancing on your right foot. Bring the left sole of your foot on the inner, inner aspect of your right leg. It can be on the right ankle with your toes supporting you. Or it can be on your calf or even up to your thigh as long as it's nowhere along your knee. As you'll see, Mia takes the variation to grow her trees. She will extend her arms up towards the sky. Inhale, one leg to bok to dasana pose. Exhale, warrior three, extend your legs straight back. Feel activity in your core, ground down into your supporting right foot. Draw your right kneecap up. Point your left toes down. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release low lunge. Hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, high lunge, sweep arms up to the sky. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Victoria will keep her left knee down onto the mat. Mia will take the variation to float her left knee off of the mat. Stack your right knee over your right ankle. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Take one more inhale. Keep your right hand where it is. Exhale, release your left hand down towards the earth. Revolved high lunge. Intention is to twist into your spine. Twist from your belly, from your core. Every inhale, lengthen into spine. Every exhale, twist heart more open to the right. Try and get your right shoulder to stack over left. Take one more deep inhale in your revolved high lunge. Exhale, side plank. <laughs> Victoria stays on her left knee. Mia keeps her left knee floating up. Both sweep the right leg towards the back of the mat. Stack your right shoulder over your left shoulder. Don't dump into your left shoulder, but lift up and out. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release right hand down, high plank. Inhale, rock forward about one inch. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Lift your heart up, point elbows back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rock over your knees, lift your hips up. Inhale, sweep your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, warrior two, pinwheel your arms open. Arms become parallel to the earth. Point your front foot forward. Point your back foot out about 45, 60 degrees. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach your right fingertips up towards the sky. Reach your left fingertips down or rest your left forearm on your left thigh. Lift up and out of your left supporting shoulder. Use your core to find one straight line of energy from the tip of your hips through the crown of your head. 
Stay low on your front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left fingertips towards the back of the room. Slide your right fingertips down your leg or take a wrap around your low back. Lift up and out of your left side body. Victoria will start to straighten her front leg and Mia will press down and forward more with her front leg. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, release hands to frame your front foot. Inhale, step back to a high plank. Knees on the mat is an option. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rock over your knees, core lifts you up. Snug your big toes together at the back of your mat and give a generous bend to your knees. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Find yourself in a standing forward fold at the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hinge from your hips. Exhale, let your head hang heavy. Inhale, Tadasana pose, root from your feet, hands sweep up to the sky. Exhale, Samastihiti, bring your hands to heart center. Point your left toes out about 45 degrees and step your right foot to the middle of the mat. Square your hips to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen into your spine. Exhale, pyramid pose. Melt your heart over your right leg. Every inhale, find length in your spine. And every exhale, round deeper into your back. Mia will take any kind of mudra with her hands that feels good in her body. Energetically squeeze your thighs together to square hips out. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay here. On the exhale, place your right hand on your hip. Inhale, lengthen into spine. Exhale, revolve triangle, open heart towards the right. Option to extend your right fingertips up towards the sky. Mia will take the option to come into revolved half moon as she floats her left leg parallel towards the earth. Take one more deep inhale wherever you are. Exhale, release hands to frame front foot. Crawl your fingertips to the left, come into a wide leg forward fold. Any variation with your hands feels good. Point your toes towards the left and make sure your hips are stacked directly over your ankles. Feel a stretch in the back of your hamstrings from the tip of your heels to the tips of your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, engage your core. Exhale, rock your fingertips to frame your right foot. Inhale, step left foot to meet right. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana, root from your feet. Hands sweep up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Point your right toes out about 45 degrees. Step your left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen into your spine. Exhale, pyramid pose. Pas cascade your heart over your standing leg. Hands come to frame your front foot. Every inhale, find length in your spine. And every exhale, deepen a little bit more. It's always nice to have blocks under your right and left hand as an extension of your arm. Once again, Mia will take the option to take any mudra that feels good with her hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay here on the exhale, place left hand on left hip. Inhale, lengthen into spine. Exhale, revolve triangle, open heart towards the left. Maybe reach left fingertips up towards the sky. Continue to energetically squeeze your thighs together and twist from your belly. Mia will take the option to come into revolved half moon again as she floats her back leg up parallel to the earth. Take one more deep inhale wherever you are. Exhale, release hands to frame your front foot. Wide leg forward fold, crawl, crawl fingertips over towards the right. Let your head hang heavy, Let's, let your hips rise up high. Every inhale, find length in your spine and every exhale, deepen a little bit more into, into your wide leg forward fold. 
Engage your core, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crawl fingertips to frame your front foot. Inhale, step to a standing forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe, your toes off the mat and heels on the mat. Sink your hips down, malasana or squat pose. Bring your hands to heart center. Breathe here. This should be a relaxing or surrendering pose. So if you need to set a block or a pillow under your hips, please do so. Feel the release in your low back and the opening in your hips in your groin area. Press your tailbone down towards the earth and float the crown of your head closer towards the sky. Gently release hands down towards the earth and lower glutes down towards the earth. Come to the middle of your mat, vertebrae by vertebrae, peel all the way down on towards your mat until the back of your head hits the floor. Straighten legs out, draw your right knee in towards your chest, wrap it around your right rib cage, and hug your right leg tightly around your right rib cage. Squeeze out any stagnant energy in the base of your lobes, of your lung lobes. Squeeze out your liver. Squeeze out the right side of your colon, your descending colon. And then bend at your left knee. Stamp the left sole of the foot onto the mat and stack your right ankle over your left thigh. Interlace your fingertips beyond your left thigh. And let your legs fall heavy towards your chest. Feel a nice deep stretch onto the outer right side of your right hip. Breathe here. Breathe into the space and the opening and the expansion in this area. Gently release your fingertips from your leg and plant the sole of your left foot down onto the mat. Wrap your right leg around your left. And then let your legs fall over to the left side of your body. Open up your arms like the shape of a T and gaze over your right fingertips. Breathe here, spinal twist. Let your legs fall heavy to the left side of your spine and let your gaze and your right arm fall heavy to the other side of your spine. Unravel from the top to the bottom. Unwind your spine. As gently as you came into your spinal twist, peel yourself out. Extend your legs straight to the top of your mat. Then bend at your left knee, draw it in towards your left chest. Pull it around your left rib cage and give your left leg a nice deep hug, squeezing and pressing onto your left rib cage. Squeeze out any stagnant energy left in the base of your left lungs. Squeeze out your ascending colon, your spleen. Then bend at your right knee, stamp the right sole of your foot down onto the mat, stack your left ankle over your right thigh, interlace your fingertips behind your right leg, and pull it gently in towards your chest. You should feel a nice deep stretch in your left hip. Breathe into this space, this expansion. Breathe. Gently start to unwind and release the grasp of your fingertips around your right leg. Plant the right sole of your foot onto the mat and wrap your left leg over your right. Let your legs fall over to the right side. Open up your arms like the shape of a T and gaze over your left fingertips. Feel your right legs fall heavy to one side of your spine and feel your left arm fall heavy to the other side of your spine. Unravel from top to bottom. Nothing to do here but unwind your spine. As tenderly as you came into your spinal twist, come out of it. Plant your feet onto the mat, hip width distance apart. Inhale, puff up your chest, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, peel your hips off the mat, bridge pose. If it feels good, interlace your fingertips underneath your back. Feel a rounding in your low back, your mid back, and your upper back. You should feel the back of your head on the mat and the back of your shoulder blades on the mat. 
but there should be a space between your neck and the earth. Take one more full inhale, and on the exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, peel all the way down. Let your knees fall in towards one another. Let your heels fall out. Set up for a happy baby pose. Draw your knees in towards your armpits and grab onto your big toes or your feet. Find stillness or find movement. Reset into your low back. Reset into your hips, your groin. Gently release out of your happy baby pose and come into your final and your most important pose, Shavasana pose, your corpse pose. Let your feet lay heavy and wide, as wide as your mat or wider. Let your arms sprawl out. Let go of your breath. Let it be gentle and soft. Let go of your abdomen. Let it turn into a soft belly. Let air flow through your top and your bottom lip. Come here and be here. However you are, however you may come. Start to wiggle your fingers and start to wiggle your toes. Wake your body up from the outside in. Stretch your hands up overhead. Stretch from the tip of your toes to the tip of your fingers. And then roll over onto your right or your left side into a fetal position. Tenderly push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Draw your hands to heart center and thank your mind and your body and your spirit for letting you practice today. Namaste.